Well, today, a groundbreaking ceremony for a new eco friendly golf course in Wakulla County. We've got it mapped out for you here. County officials in the Department of Environmental Protection joining together on this project. Some say it's a game changer for maintaining the state's drinking water and the water source, helping preserve our natural resources where the manatees like to swim. ABC 27's Kendall Brandt went to the site of the new golf course to speak with local leaders and environmentalists. And Kendall, what will this golf course do for the aquifer? Channing, Ava, the Wakulla Sands Golf Club is set to deliver hundreds of thousands, if not millions of gallons of water to the aquifer, something that County Administrator David Edwards says will benefit Wakulla County for years to come. It keeps our clean environment clean. And, and it continues to expound on what we're doing. It's, uh, so that's the, that is the real benefit. It costs a little bit more money for us, to, and our sewer bills are a little bit more, but what we're getting, we're not harming the environment. Wakulla County Administrator David Edwards says using rapid infiltration basin systems, also known as RIBS, to collect treated water within the course will help replenish the state's main drinking water source, the aquifer, while also keeping Wakulla County clean. Avid golfer Mark Mitchell says this will add to the quality of life for people like him living in the county, but will also protect a resource he says is invaluable. Living on the Wakulla water basin, it's important that we put as much water back into the aquifer as we can rather than taking it out. And what better place to do that than a golf course? We're spreading the water and it's going back into the aquifer and it's wonderful. Another feature of the course, a wastewater spray system, which will use reclaimed water to maintain the grass and other vegetation on the course. Anthony Gaudio, chair of the Wakulla Springs Alliance and a veteran wastewater specialist, says even this treated water could add up and bring more harmful nitrates to the springs and the aquifer. However, he notes that the project has many great benefits and is better than disposing of the wastewater in other ways. The positives outweigh the negative because it's better than the alternative, but and you have to dispose of the wastewater somewhere. And uh, we have to be vi vigilant about uh, preventing nitrogen to getting into the springs. <laughs> With that vigilance in mind, Edwards says the county will do all they can to prevent those nitrates from polluting water. We're treating the water at a wastewater treatment plant, removing about 98 percent of the nitrogen and phosphorus, then that water will come back to the golf course and be sprayed. And what is not uptaked uh, by the grass and through the infiltration will, will percolate itself down and almost be zero once it reaches the aquifer. Edward says the construction on this project will wrap up in September, but people will not be able to tee off on the course until sometime around May of 2024. Live in Crawfordville, Kendall Brandt, ABC 27.